Light duty vehicles include cars and commercial vehicles. To receive type approval, they must meet strict emissions limits, as the world over there is a particular focus on reducing pollution and carbon dioxide emissions. In Europe, a regulation passed in 2014 requires that by 2021, a manufacturer's fleet CO2 emissions of new cars be no more than 95 grams per kilometre, and the fleet CO2 emissions from new commercial vehicles no more than 147 grams per kilometre, or financial penalties will be applied. Relative to this 2021 starting point, car CO2 fleet emissions must be reduced by 15% by 2025 and by 37.5% by 2030. For commercial vehicles, the reductions will be 15% by 2025 and 31% by 2030. There are currently strict limits for carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, hydrocarbons, particulate mass and particle number and these are expected to be reduced in further evolution of the EU legislation. For establishing the emissions levels of light duty vehicles, standard laboratory tests, which have been used historically and are highly repeatable, are now joined by real driving emissions tests. RDE was introduced in Europe in 2017 and for certification purposes, the latest level will apply to all new cars by the beginning of 2021 and all new commercial vehicles by the beginning of 2022. Real driving emissions levels are established using a Portable Emissions Measurement System, or PEMS for short. Ariba's PEMS is the Onboard Emissions Measurement System, the OBS1, trusted throughout the automotive industry for measuring emissions on all types of vehicle. The OBS-1 employs much of the same measurement technology and software as Hariba's laboratory and test cell equipment and measures exhaust gas concentrations of carbon monoxide and dioxide, total hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxides, particulate matter and particle numbers. The OBS-1 also measures RDE exhaust gas flow rates, essential for the calculation of mass emissions for the optimization of the vehicle's engine and exhaust after treatment system. GPS data and environmental conditions are measured too. The quantity and quality of data captured during real-world driving is of great value in the laboratory. Engine test cells and chassis dynamometers can reproduce increasingly realistic loading conditions. Also, chamber temperature and atmospheric pressure can be set to replicate driving at altitudes. In the laboratory, products such as Hariba's PITO tube flow meters, or PTFMs, can be used to measure the exhaust gas flow rates. The meters measure but do not affect the gas flow and high frequency sampling means exhaust pulsations are measured, the omission of which could otherwise produce misleading results under some conditions. A recently announced dual tube version can measure exhaust flow rates over a much wider dynamic range than a single tube design, whilst maintaining a low exhaust back pressure. Accurate and real-time light duty vehicle exhaust gas flow rates can also be established using Hariba's EXFM1, which can be used in conjunction with a host of other instruments, such as an air-to-fuel ratio analyzer. Though a relatively recent introduction, RDE is set to evolve. At launch, a range of boundary conditions were adopted to exclude certain types of conditions but going real-world is likely to require factoring in more unusual driver behaviour and extended urban stop-start driving. Accurate and trustworthy data, captured on the road using PEMS and used to the full in the laboratory, is crucial for light-duty vehicle type approval. 
With decades of experience in developing core technologies, products and complete solutions in emissions measurement, and being at the forefront of current compliancy requirements and future regulations, Ariba is well placed to help guide you with your unique project requirements through the complexity and fast-changing regulatory testing landscape. And with our comprehensive test cell and PEM solutions, we can help you find that trustworthy data in the lab and on the road.